decided to come and try some traditional Korean food and basically this is a Korean barbecue. Never done it before, it's totally new, so let's go and experience it together. what we've got going on here. Uh, Peter, what have we ordered? We think we've ordered. We've ordered some beef ribs. Beef ribs. Also grilled pork meat. And uh, grilled pork meat. And uh, are you excited for this man? <laughs> Very. I'm a little hungover. <laughs> yeah, we kind of went a little bit too hard karaoke into Gangnam style last night. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. We've got some of the like things that go with it. We've got some like kimchi, which I believe this is kimchi. So the premise is that you wrap your meat and your other stuff in the leaf or the lettuce. I don't know how I'm going to eat it. I've got it all over me, but it's bloody amazing. Barbecue, I absolutely loved it. Pete, what do you reckon? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, you're just gonna go, on, just gonna go and pay the man. But wow, honestly, guys, if you are in Seoul and you really want to try a traditional Korean barbecue, hit up Piggy Bank. I'll put the link in the description below so you know exactly where it is. But top-notch food. After our really good experience of the Korean barbecue, we're now checking out the local area. This place here is called Hong Dao. Hong Hong Dao. Sorry, uh, our resident pronouncer, Mr. Grimsdale. Hong Dao. Hong Dao. Got it, right. They've got a lot of other uh, Korean barbecue restaurants around. There's a bunch of other really cool foods. It feels a bit weirdly like a Korean take on shoulder. It's just, just putting it out there, a little bit different. Uh, when you're somewhere and it's exactly how you imagine. This street here is exactly how I imagined career would be in terms of like neon lights everything blaring in your face looking incredible exciting a complete assault on your senses this is it yes lad come on boys made a new friend haven't yeah. I'm Mr. Ree Mr. Ree macho macho shout out to you mate Hello, Matcha. Good man, Matcha, bro. So, uh, yeah, you probably kind of got the gist that we met. Uh, I think it was some kind of Korean live streamer on Twitch. He did give his shout out to where he was, so I will try and look at it after this video. But yeah, that was a surreal experience to say the least. He did speak some good English, but Pete apparently is a very handsome young man, according to the comments. Very handsome. What did you get apparently. in the comments just now on his like live stream? Like sex, sex, sex. <laughs> So we have now arrived, let me just sort my bag out. We've now arrived at Seoul Station behind me here. But unfortunately the escalator is out of action, so I've got to carry my bag. Demonstrated by the lovely Peter just here. Look at that man. Never never gone to the gym in his life. Basically, we are taking a train now from Seoul down to Busan, which is in the south of South Korea. Takes about two and a half hours. Apparently, the train goes about 300 kilometers an hour. And it needs to because it's a hell of a distance. It's completely the other side of the country. <sighs> Leg day. I have put the tickets online. So, hopefully, that will all work out. And I'll catch up with you when we're at the platform. my stuff on the train. Probably a little silly. We've got nine minutes until it goes. But I've got to get a water. I'm absolutely parched. So hoping I have enough time and that my bags and my friend don't go off to boost on about me. Let's 
to try it. A few moments later. I've got my water. One for me, one for Pete. Train hasn't gone yet, so fingers crossed. It's not just gonna drive off without me. Three minutes to go. I like to push it to the limit, don't I? Look at this. Nick of time, nick of time. So we've been on the train now for approximately, I guess, two hours, is it? Yeah, it's been two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Um, and we literally have gone right down to the bottom of Korea. It's like, I think it's about 300 kilometers or something, but we, maybe it's more. It must be more than that, actually. If we're traveling at around 300 kilometers an hour, we have two hours. Quick maths. That suggests that it's over five or 600 kilometers. Anyway, regardless, um, we should be in Busan in just a minute. Um, I've had quite a productive journey, to be honest. I have been getting that content. to sort of work out how to get from the central train station in Busan over to the airport, and it's a toss up between a taxi or I think the metro might take us there as well. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We have arrived in Busan. Pete's waiting with the bags. And now we've got to try and get over to the airport to catch our flight to Japan. The next country vlog coming very soon. Let's go and work out how we're gonna do it. I've absolutely no clue what we're gonna do. We'll probably have to walk. In fact, I looked online, it's an hour and a half walk. We could do that. To where, the, <laughs> the airport. <laughs> uh, enjoy your walk, mate. I'll get yeah, a taxi. yeah, yeah, we'll get a taxi. So this is Busan. It's a shame we don't really have time to have a look at it. Little cruise ship there. Port. And I guess downtown over there. But yeah, we got to work out now where to go. Uh, what's it called? The airport? Uh, what are you saying, <laughs> lad? Airport. <laughs> we need one of the most useful apps that we've come across in Korea, because Google Maps just seems to not work properly, is Rome to Rio. Definitely a recommendation, I believe it's what you're gonna try and do now. I don't know, hopefully. through security, now just having a small bite to eat, although I had some of uh, this noodle thing. Still don't know what it is, but it was very tasty. We'll be flying over to Osaka in Japan in about an hour's time. Uh, flight time I think is only about an hour. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, give the video a good thumbs up. And do make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. As always guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a few days.